Okay, well, we're going to get the meeting started. Uh, thank everybody for coming out. It is a special call meeting, so we can only discuss the two items that are on the agenda, and that is property acquisition and vehicle purchase. Are you needing a closed session for him? No. Okay. Didn't, wasn't sure, but. Now, all this has got the planning and zoning stuff. Anything we needed with her? And I think that's here for me to fix that, wasn't it? No, I don't that know. That there's a from Roger. Okay. This here's the rest of it. This is on the property of Keith's that, you know, we started condemnation and then he came up and did an offer to discuss, have a discussion with us and talk about sale. And we did get an appraisal run on it. And the appraisal was for $15,000. That's what Keith had agreed to take for it was 15000 I'll make Roger Emery did do the appraisal. Not a bad price. We had talked about going out of the county. We were having some problems, and then Roger, we talked to him a little bit, and of course he was kind of, and I understand, yeah. you, you work with friends with both sides, and sometimes, but when it came down to where Keith was expressed an interest, you know, made it a little easier. So, I'll make a motion. We go ahead and purchase the property. I guess that's what we have to do, isn't it? Make a motion on that. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Now, this will be just for. It will still be our property, right? Nobody's going to go in there and build anything on it or anything no, without our permission, it's, right? We bought it. Yeah, that's what it's, I was hoping <laughs> that we had control. Yeah, no, this it's, is... I want to make sure that... It's just like this parking lot right out here. It's yeah, ours. I, I, I want to make sure that's on that. We're, we're in control of that, so... It'll be ours. Yeah. Well, any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Uh, same. That motion does pass. And he is going to get. Now, what about moving the uh, Beth Dollar? Yeah, that's, cool. that's uh, what I was going to He contacted the gentleman that brought him there. Uh, that gentleman wants two hundred dollars just to come back in town, then a hundred dollars a piece, so a total of seven hundred bucks. Well, not bad. The, the, the kicker is the lot he's moving into, moving into, is going to have to be solid. Solid, no, solid. Uh, too too soft right now to move them. This, and, and the only other thing, and I'm sure we don't want to pay twice is to pay the guy to move them to the sewer plant, and then when it gets solid, they can bring him back to move them again. I mean, we're going to be making twice on that. Twice, so. Well, you're paying $100 twice. It's $700 to be $1,400. Just according to how fast you want to move it. What am I talking about? Here? The storage units. Behind those the beer container beer. units. That you it might be April or May before it gets solid. Enough. Even then. Even June or July, maybe. But it's better to wait. I, that's what that's throwing away seven hundred dollars, in my opinion. That we probably don't need to. Where the guy coming from that will move them? Bowling Green, I think. Okay. Are they that hard to move? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. It's equipment, you gotta have to pick them up. I'd say it's just rollback, isn't it? That's what I figured. It's well, rollback. He, Keith said he had contacted a couple people with rollbacks, and none of them felt safe trying to trying to load them up on their on their rollback. So. Okay. What did it come in on? Do you know? No idea. I mean, I had that old land law trailer that was just, it just rolled back and went almost to the ground. Yeah. And we loaded equipment on it because it was just very slow incline up. It doesn't look like. And then like, hit the hydraulics and it slid the trailer all the way up. It doesn't look like they would be any heavier than the handle of one of these big garbage dumps. I would think so. Either. No. That biggest one. We moved ours with a robot. Yeah. We've got one at the plant. I'm a. The, the only thing that I that I would say as far as from my part on the uh, if we did have to move them to the the sewage plant is that you're it's that much parking that that business loses those businesses lose for if it winds up being two or three four months that's a that's a lot of a lot of business number one, I guess the one thing is is Keith is going to put rock on his Wherever. Wherever. Yeah. That could be started now if he would. It should be right now. But, well, if he's cutting it, it won't make a difference, but if he's just putting it on top of the dirt, it's right. going to be bad. Because yep. if you cut, that gives you something to put the base on. But if you leave, just pour it on top, it's just going to do this. Mm -hmm. So get, he can get his property ready. could take quite a that extension. I'll, I'll touch base with Keith this week. And have something for next meeting. Yeah, because yeah, that's two weeks, so we've yeah. got. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I don't want to. Because I'd, I'd love to have a blacktop. Uh, Easy killer. Easy. Well, it's not that big. 
Right top to striped, uh, landscaped, I'm, and I'll see what else. I'll be honest with you, as hard as that base is on that parking lot down there, that's all of them. Uh, you won't have a problem with yeah. asphalt on that's that thing. That, uh, that's a solid chunk of land right there. Because the way they're parking, they're having to park all the way on the other side of our church. Everywhere. And, and I don't mind them doing that. That's not an issue as long as they're not doing it during our, and they're so, not doing that. And, uh, but again, you know how people are about walking if it's, if it's a matter of least little bit of inconvenience. We, you know, yep. those folks won't walk across the street to that restaurant. Yep. Because they're afraid they'll have to wait on car pass. Yeah, I remember I was told beefs would never make it because it's too far a walk. I said, I hope you don't need any milk at Walmart because you're in trouble. Well, it's a minimum of 200 steps just to get into Walmart. A minimum, yeah. usually. From this park lot right here where my car and these are setting, it is shorter from there to Beef Old Brady's front door than it is from Walmart I to the milk. I, don't doubt I that. counted them. I don't doubt that. <sighs> Okay, so we'll follow up on that. And make sure I do that. Okay, next item is the vehicle purchase. This is for the code enforcement officer. Uh, he's had one of the, the, the first charger, the solid white charger we had, and it's. They took a land on us. They attacked <laughs> That's the second one come out. Did you, see the, did you see a big jet come by low this, this afternoon? At no, 2 o'clock, 2 30? It was low. Was it one of the one that yeah. lands in Owensboro? No. It should have been no, that you can look through the window to almost see I was in the parking lot loading my mail one morning when it took off. I swear it was treetop tall when it come across Beaver Dam. This was it, and it was, I saw the size of it. It was, it was allegiance. Man. Tommy called dispatch and asked if anything was going on. And Tommy said, it, it, it come across City Hall here to bank right and turned around. He said, when it come back, it was even lower, had its landing gear down. And dispatch called Tommy back and said that they was taking pictures of the approach at the airport. At the Ohio County Airport. So, Wow. It was, it was large. I mean, it was, they were saying a 737 <coughs> Gulf, they, Gulf Stream. They're supposed to be Gulf a Stream is not a 737. Well, Tommy said that was a Gulf Stream as a company or a brand or something. Yeah, yeah that's why I say but it wouldn't be a 737. Gulf Stream is a, like a lot of your little private jets. Like a Learjet or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, this was rather large. I mean, pretty good size. I tell you what, there was some monsters when I, I lived 13 miles from the hospital at Fort Campbell. You, I didn't realize that Fort Campbell's got the longest runway yeah. in the state, and well, they, bring in the they had some monsters come in now there. Yeah. Anyway, his old charger is vehicles. in bad shape. The one we're getting is a 2014? Well, I believe. 14 uh, or 15. Chevy. Is it going to be a car or SUV? It's a Chevy. Chevy. That's, Chevy. Chevy. That's what I, I... We looked at... A Chevy, what is it? The top of we looked at the Toyota Rav Four. We looked at them. They were just to me too little because he does have a lot of his power equipment in the yeah. back end as well. Uh, and wanted white because that's why all of our other stuff has so wanted to try. Charger driving now has got 190 some thousand miles. Man, uh, that Charger has how many miles on it? It's one. It's 2010. It's a 10. Yeah. And that's one of our older ones. I knew, but I didn't realize it had that many miles. Most of them usually don't have too many miles. They just got a lot of hours on them. It's, it's the oldest. What's the Payment is it's all going to be code enforcement from the fire department, from code enforcement, how they get paid for it. Now that's it, it, it'll come out of general, uh, all come out of general because that's where fire and code both comes out of. Uh, he started out at 14.9, uh, got him down to, I think David got him down to 13.6. I talked to Tommy, uh, he's at 12.8. Uh, we, we can trade the charger in, he's going to have $1,500, which I was hoping for 16 or to 1800 but 15 is is manageable because it's got issues. Uh, so that's what we're asking for. Just go ahead and trade in, brother, selling it outright. So I think Tommy said 12 8, and you know, we got the, the license and whatever. So it's probably going to be 12 9 to take $1,500 off. So I can't give you an exact figure until we do the transfer. It's probably going to be closer to 11 8. Probably. 11 8 to 12 by the time you do your tax license and all your fees. And then I, I think some of the stuff we don't have to pay. Then. Yeah. How much are you going to call it to stripe it? Uh, I don't know, well, I didn't get a price on that from David, but for the uh, lights and uh, the siren and the guy to mount it in, I think he said between $600 and $1,000. But are we going to strike it? We'll probably just put them stickers on the side. Are you going to put sirens and stuff on it? Yeah. A light for the fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
That doesn't sound, that sounds pretty good for me. Somebody you didn't file a motion to move yeah, we'll it by the vehicle. We'll second. second. Could we have that motion? And trade him. Motion and, and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And that motion passes as well. Entertain a motion to adjourn. I like motion we adjourn. That's the first time we've got to do that. <laughs> okay. Sandy's not here. On to the